fuck is up, everyone? Another goddamn beautiful day. Make sure you get some sunlight, some fresh air. Look, according to the law of duality, if you believe there are good men, 100% there are evil men. It's as simple as that. Yin and yang. With that being said, Dr. Sebi is a doctor with no medical license, no medical teaching, just someone who's in tune with nature. And this man found a cure to things like cancer and AIDS, etc. Through an alkaline plant-based diet and fasting. And then when he tried to expose this truth, he got assassinated. And then Nipsey Hussle discovered his studies. He tried to expose that truth and he got assassinated. And then Nick Cannon discovered Nipsey discovering Dr. Sevi. He tried to expose that truth. And I don't know what the fuck happened with his documentary. I don't hear shit about it anymore. <laughs> he just got silent as fuck, which I guess happens, right? But what in society's right mind makes us think that a government that is clearly hiding cures gives any single fuck about us getting vaccinated? And whether we like it or not, nobody truly knows what is in those syringes. We are not in the lab with the doctor or the, the scientists when they put those shits together. You can hear all you want about it. Somebody can tell you all they want about it. Fact is, you do not truly know what is in those syringes. With that being said, back when I was a Lyft driver, I picked up a doctor and I asked him straight up my goddamn self, yo, doc, is it true that the health industry is a scam? They don't give a fuck about us. And um, they have cures to stuff like cancer and AIDS. And this man confirmed, yes, it's true. They don't care about us. And he also said the thing is we have to eat uh, foods that are the color of the rainbow. And he said he didn't eat much meat. So he was referring to a plant-based. And he confirmed the shit is a scam. Why would they do this? I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm not trying to make anybody get in their feels about anything. If you want to debate on anything, hit my DMs. You could chop down the facts. But they do it simply for money. This shit is not a conspiracy. If you believe there are generous people who share their wealth, there are evil people who are greedy with it. And the day people find out there's a cure to cancer and shit, that means no more breast cancer awareness month, no more funds, no more donations going right into their pocket. Why would they ever cut off that supply? Why would they ever stop that? <laughs> they wouldn't. And I forgot who said it, but this guy said, you know you found truth because when you hear it, you find peace. And that's just kind of how I felt when he confirmed it. Like, I was, you know, I had done my research prior. I was looking for the answer. When he finally told me, as, as disheartening as it is to hear, I felt at peace because I was right. And now I don't have to search for that truth anymore. And so if we just do a little research, question things that we never normally would question, we'll see just how much wicked shit is actually out there covering up what is really meant to be. And off this next statement alone, you would think there should be no more debating. But humanity is 100% herbivores. We're not omnivores. If you want to debate on that, hit my DMs. Let's chop down the facts. We can debate. But off this next fact alone should prove that. There should be no debating. And that's the fact that eating animals is directly, not sub, not kinda, but directly linked to causing diseases. Damn near any disease you can think of. Cardiovascular, skin diseases, cancers, tumors, etc. Eating animals causes that. Eating fruits and vegetables, literally, there's obviously something divine that happens within our bodies when we eat that because when we consume it, it fights off diseases, makes us stronger. Eating animals causes diseases. Fruits and vegetables fight diseases. Off that fact alone, we should not even be discussing if we are herbivores or not. But hey, you know, people wake up on their own terms and whatnot. But, yeah, and that's what the doctor was saying, the, the color of the foods. I don't think he was into chakras, but he was touching on chakras a bit. If you look into chakras, I highly recommend it. Very eye-opening. Energy fields within our body, color-coded. You eat certain foods to match that color, and it helps you heal. Things of that nature. But, yeah, it's all a scam. And I'm not saying this shit to offend anyone, to hurt anyone. I'm just saying, you know, I get it. I'm not this rich doctor on TV. I don't have a college degree. I'm a college dropout. <laughs> I'm in my goddamn car talking to a goddamn camera. Maybe I don't know anything, but maybe I do. It's just not a coincidence that the day I took learning into my own hands, outside of indoctrination, that's when people started respecting my intellect, when I started learning on my own. And if you, you know, I just very much support and promote critical thinking, you know, if you have anything against me, I would love for you to debate against it. 
I want to learn. I'm not doing all this to prove I'm smart. I'm doing all this because this is what I have learned through debates and through uh, hours of research. And I want to be taught something. If you can't teach me anything, then at least listen to what I'm saying and see if you'll learn anything. <laughs> it's okay to learn from one another. But, yeah. I just hope we get more into self-educating and really looking for truth. You'll see how addicting it can be once you actually start uh, finding answers to things you, you thought were conspiracies. Because... Once again, I don't base my information off of theories. These shits are facts. And yeah. Maybe I don't know anything, maybe I do. But the only thing I do know is that if you're watching me right now, whether through my Instagram or YouTube, I have a lot of fucking love for you and I care about you. That fucking rich scientist on TV doesn't. I know you. He doesn't know you. You know me. As far as I'm concerned, if you're watching this, you're my friend. So I care about you. That's why I'm telling you this. I want to help you. I'm not trying to belittle nobody. I'm not trying to offend anybody or just get into some weird argument. These are things I've come across that I feel the need to share with you that will genuinely help your life. So yeah, it's up to you whether to accept it or not. Much love. You know, look through the 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 veil of lies. And yeah, stay strong, you guys. Much love.